Hooray! Art, Art with us. us! What is the true meaning behind the two circles in the background of the painting, and why did Rembrandt choose to include them in his self-portrait? How did Rembrandt achieve the captivating gaze in his self-portrait? And what emotions or messages was he trying to convey through his eyes? Today, we're exploring one of Rembrandt's most enigmatic self-portraits. Self-portrait with two circles. We'll delve into the hidden meanings and techniques that make this painting a true masterpiece. My name is Pavla, and welcome to my channel. Join me, an artist passionate about sharing knowledge, as I welcome my husband Peter to our video today. And don't miss out on more videos about Rembrandt and other Baroque masters. Check out our playlist in the video description. What is your favorite artwork by Rembrandt or any other Baroque master? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's discuss these incredible pieces of art together. So, let's dive in and uncover the secrets of this captivating artwork. Rembrandt Hermansen van Rijn, a Dutch painter, is considered one of the greatest artists in European art history. He was a master of light and shadow, and his self-portraits are among his most famous works. Today, we'll be focusing on Self-Portrait with Two Circles, a painting that has puzzled art enthusiasts for centuries. Created around 1665 to 1669, Self-Portrait with Two Circles is housed in Kenwood House in London. At first glance, it appears to be a simple self-portrait, but upon closer inspection, we can see that there's much more to it. The most intriguing aspect of this painting is the presence of two large circles in the background. The meaning behind these circles has been debated for years, sparking numerous theories and interpretations. Some art historians believe they represent the concept of divine perfection, symbolizing the harmony and balance found in nature, and the universe. This idea is rooted in the belief that circles are the most perfect geometric shape, often associated with celestial bodies and divine entities. Another theory suggests that the circles could be a reference to the practice of drawing perfect circles freehand, a skill that was highly admired during the Renaissance. This artistic feat was considered a testament to an artist's mastery and control, as it required exceptional precision and steadiness. By including these circles in his self-portrait, Rembrandt may have been showcasing his technical prowess and aligning himself with the great masters of the past. Additionally, some scholars propose that the circles could be an allusion to the squaring of the circle, an ancient geometric problem that symbolizes the unattainable or the pursuit of perfection. In this context, the circles might represent Rembrandt's lifelong quest for artistic excellence and his continuous exploration of new techniques and styles. Rembrandt was known for his innovative painting techniques, and this self-portrait is no exception. He used a combination of thin glazes and thick impasto to create a rich, textured surface. This technique allowed him to achieve a sense of depth and realism in his work. One of the most captivating elements of this self-portrait is Rembrandt's gaze. His eyes seem to follow the viewer, creating a sense of connection and intimacy. This effect is achieved through the careful positioning of his pupils and the subtle use of light and shadow. In this painting, Rembrandt is holding a palette and brushes, signifying his identity as an artist. The inclusion of these tools not only emphasizes his profession, but also showcases his mastery of the craft. The way he holds the brushes and palette with confidence and ease demonstrates his expertise and skill. Rembrandt's choice of clothing in this self-portrait is also noteworthy. He is wearing a simple, dark garment, which contrasts with the more elaborate clothing seen in some of his earlier self-portraits. This choice could be interpreted as a reflection of his humility and focus on his art, rather than on material possessions or status. Before before we wrap up, let's discuss one more intriguing detail in self-portrait with two circles. If you look closely at the lower left corner of the painting, you'll notice a mysterious object partially hidden in the shadows. The object's shape and purpose have been the subject of much speculation among art historians. Some believe it could be a mall stick, a tool used by painters to steady their hand while working on fine details. Others suggest it might be a symbolic object, such as a rolled-up map or a scroll, representing Rembrandt's vast knowledge and worldly experience. This enigmatic detail adds another layer of mystery to the painting inviting viewers to ponder its meaning and significance. Self-portrait with two circles is not only a testament to Rembrandt's artistic prowess, but also a window into his soul. It offers a glimpse into the mind of a genius, revealing his thoughts, emotions, and struggles. This painting has inspired countless artists and art enthusiasts over the centuries and continues to captivate audiences today. Through the use of intricate symbolism, inventive techniques, and a captivating expression, the painting stands out as a true masterpiece. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of Rembrandt's world, and be sure to follow us for more fascinating insights into the world of art. Don't forget to share your thoughts on your favorite artwork by Rembrandt or any other Baroque master in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and celebrate the beauty of art together.